All right, Mr. Monroe, welcome to the office. Thank you. How's it going? It's not going bad. Okay, so you're just in for your annual checkup today, correct? Yeah, that's correct. I'm um, having a little bit of gum soreness um, kind of on the bottom and the back. Okay. Um, a little, just a little more than usual. I normally have sensitive gums. I use sensitive toothpaste, but lately it's been, you know, bothering me a little bit more. Perfect. And is that top and bottom? No, it's just the bottom. Just the bottom. A couple notes on my computer over here. Okay. Can you tell me when your last dental visit was? Um, it's been about six months now. Six months? Okay, so you're up on time. Yes. And do you typically go to the dentist every six months? Um, I haven't, but I, for this past year I've been on track. Okay. And do you have any significant dental history such as root canal, oral surgery? Um, I've had one root canal in my life. How long ago was that? Five or six years ago. So likely healed since then. Yeah. And do you know what side it was on? It's on the right side. No complications after that surgery? No, none okay. at all. Can you tell me a little bit about your oral hygiene regimen? Do you brush your teeth at least twice a day? I do. Uh, in the morning and at night. I also try to floss at least once a day. Floss once a day. And when you floss, do you use like tooth flossers or like the string floss? Um, I use the tooth flossers, like with the pick on the end. Okay. Yeah, the handheld ones. Got it. And do you use mouthwash? Yes, I do. Do you know what brand it is or if it contains alcohol or is it alcohol? Um, it's either Crest or Listerine. Okay. I believe the Listerine does contain alcohol. Got it. And lastly, about your oral health, do you use an automatic toothbrush or a manual? A manual. Okay, and you feel like that works okay for you? Yes, it does. Do you know if it's soft or medium? It's soft. soft. Very good. Okay, and you said you're having some gum sensitivity on the bottom. Yeah. You know if that's related to anything in particular, or is that just? I think I just ate something kind of kind of sharp and it scratched. It's okay. been irritating, irritated ever since. Okay, how long ago was that? Uh, about four days ago, four or five days. Okay, so within the last week. Yeah. Okay, and just want to go over a little bit of what we're going to be doing today. Okay. So essentially, I'm going to do a brief examination of your face and just have a look at your overall oral health and then I'll be going in a little more in depth have a look inside your mouth um, I do want to see if you have a scratch in your gum since you said you're having some of that sensitivity so we'll kind of have a look at a couple things there and if it's all right with you I'm just going to start with kind of an overall visual inspection so okay. I'm going to get out my pen light I'm just going to have a look at your face. You're okay. welcome to close your eyes. It is a little bright. Okay. Just looking for any signs of notable swelling. Any symptoms of inflammation that could indicate some kind of infection, but I'm not seeing anything so far. So if I kind of shine my light on your cheeks here, I can get a good indication of any asymmetry which I'm not seeing. I'll do that again from the bottom. Perfect. Can I have you open your mouth for just a second? So I'm gonna put my light in your mouth. Your nose sounds a little weird. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything notable with that. So the very next thing that I'm gonna do Let's just take a quick set of measurements here. So I'm looking for, again, any signs of asymmetry. So I'm gonna put this right over your nose. And we're gonna go ear to ear. Just over 14, we'll say about 15 inches there. And then about five there, which is good. So essentially what I'm looking for is symmetry in your face. This area, is about 15 inches and this area is about five which tells me that your face is pretty symmetrical if we have five here then we likely have five here and here which is good 
So not showing any signs of inflammation so far. So I'm just gonna measure from your eyelash line to the top of your beard. Okay, and then again. Here, can I have you open for me? Open as wide as you can. Perfect, okay. So all done with the measurements, nothing notable there. All of these tests are just part of our preliminary assessment. So the next thing I want to do is take my reflex hammer. So I just have a little cold metal hammer here, and I'm going to be making some palpations and percussions essentially along your face, jawline, just looking for any signs of discomfort at this point. Okay. So you're going to feel a light tapping around the perimeter of your face to start with, and I want you to just let me know if it causes you any pain, okay? Okay. or discomfort with that? No. Okay. So now I'm going to go kind of underneath your mandible here. And any pain or discomfort there? No. Okay. It's so going along your cheeks a little more gently. Let me know if any of this hurts. here along your bottom gum line. Okay. Just looking for a normal reaction there. So can I have you open your eyes for me for just a second? Very good. Now I'm going to have you hang your jaw open and just kind of relax. Very good. Okay. So reflexes appear to be normal overall. So the next thing I'm going to do is just some manual palpations of your face. So you're just going to feel my hands kind of moving along your face. I'm just looking for any signs of swelling or possible masses. Potential pockets of fluid. You're just going to feel me kind of manipulate your face a little bit. I apologize, that just helps me get a little bit of a better feel here. pain here along the gum line? No. Just along that mandibular bone. Hey, have you open your mouth for me and close? Open, close, one more time. Did you feel any clicking or popping? Did you feel anything there? No, I didn't. Okay. okay. So any pain or pressure as I pull on your ears? Nothing there? No, nothing. Okay. I think what I want to do next is a sensation test on your face. 
So again, this is just going to help rule out any neurological abnormalities that could possibly be caused by any sort of facial edema, um, for any signs or symptoms of infection that could lead to a lack of sensation in your face, specifically around your mouth and cheek area. I'm not sensing that we're going to find anything there, but it is good to go ahead and check. So why don't we start with something soft. So I have a soft kind of oral sponge that I will be using later on in the exam, but for the purposes of this test, you're just going to feel a soft swipe on your face, and I want you to say yes if you feel it, okay? Okay. So keep your eyes closed for me. Yes. I'm going to use the other side of this tool and it's just a little sharper. Can okay. you feel that? Yes, I can. Okay, so same thing, just say yes if you feel it. Yes. 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 Very good. So no issues or abnormalities with that. The next tool I'm going to use is going to test the same function, but it's slightly different. So you're going to feel a little pressure here. Can you feel that? Yes, I can. So same thing, say yes if you feel it. Yes. Yes, 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 Perfect, okay. So the last sensation test that I'm going to do is test your ability to sense cold. So can you feel this? Yes, I can. And this? Yes. Do you feel a difference between the two of those? Yes, the second one felt colder. Okay, so tell me when you feel the cold object. Cold. Cold. Not cold. Cold. Not cold. Not cold. Not cold. Not cold. Not cold. cold. There was a slight discrepancy, but your beard is fairly thick, so I'm guessing you're just have tr having trouble feeling the sensation through your hair, which is okay. perfectly fine. Just to double check, I'll do one more quick test there. So can you tell me if this is soft or sharp? Soft. Sharp. 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 Soft. Okay, so no suspected abnormalities with that. So let's go ahead and move on to our oral examination. Okay. What I'm gonna do at this time is just cover your shirt to protect your clothing. So I have a little disposable cloth here and I'm just okay. gonna be placing this on your chest. Don't wanna disturb your therapy cat there, so I'll do this gently. Can I have you lift your head for me? Sure. Go ahead and relax. Just have a little alligator clip that I'll be using to fasten this to your cloth. Perfect. Does that feel comfortable for you? Yes, it does. Okay. All right, James, now that I have you all protected, I'm gonna go ahead and change into my sterile gloves. I will be putting my fingers into your mouth. I don't want to introduce any bacteria. So if it's all right with you, I'll just use the area on top of you to place my clothes down. Okay. Mr. Monroe, so let's go ahead and get started with your oral examination. So I am going to go ahead and put on my loops. 
These are just a special pair of lighted goggles that will help me see a little better. Perfect. And let's go ahead and go in with our mirror here. So can I have you open up for me? Perfect. I'm just going to have an initial look at your teeth. Looking for any signs of hack or gingivitis. I'm going to feel a cold metal object. This is just going to help me visualize the upper side of your hard palate as well as your top teeth. Like you practice decent oral hygiene. Have you ever had a professional teeth whitening done? No. Okay. So before I do a tapping inspection, I'm gonna go in with my little silicone sleeves. So I have some little silicone tips here. Okay. They're just going to help me manipulate your mouth a little better. So I'm just going to move your gums. I'm sorry, move your lips out of the way. Should feel better though. I'm also going to just kind of gently manipulate the gum area to see if there's any signs of sloughing or other abnormalities. Is this uncomfortable? No, it's not. And how about the bottom where you said you had some of that discomfort? No, it's okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So what I'd like to do is actually have a look at your tongue. So can I have you stick your tongue out for me? I'm going to use this gauze here to tug slightly. You know, this is kind of uncomfortable. Just kind of allow me to manipulate your tongue. Just taking a look at the sides. Okay. Normal in color. And texture appears normal as well. Not noticing any abnormalities or discoloration. Tongue is pink. Texture is normal. Very good. Sorry, I know that's pretty uncomfortable. Any pain with that though? No, no pain. Okay. So let's go ahead and do what's called a tapping test. Essentially, I'm going to use a cold metal object to tap on your teeth. And this will just let me know if there's any kind of deficiency deficiencies in your enamel or a lack of calcium. So you're gonna feel a little, little tap and I want you to just tell me if it's painful on any of your teeth, okay? Okay. So we'll do one at a time. I'm gonna start with the outside of the top. Anything there? No. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the inside of the top. Anything there? No. Okay. So let's move on to the outside of the bottom. Anything there? No. Okay. And lastly, we'll do the inside of the bottom. And anything there? No. Okay. Perfect. Nothing notable as far as enamel deficiencies or any 
abnormalities in your tooth structure itself. So let's go ahead and move on to the next portion of the exam, which is going to be slight manipulation of those gums. So can you tell me exactly where you felt like you either damaged your gum or it was hurting? Um, somewhere on the, the bottom towards the right the side. The bottom towards, so closer to here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have a look. And is it the outside or the inside? Ah, uh, the inside. The inside. Okay. So let's start in the middle. Does that hurt? No. And here? Mm-mm. And here? No. And here? Mm, a little bit. A little bit there. Yeah. And here? No. And here? No. Okay. The good news is I see a very superficial scratch, almost as if you were eating something like a chip or... Mm -hmm. Okay, so that should heal on its own. Obviously, you're feeling discomfort because you did scratch your gum, okay. but it's nothing that's, you know, bleeding or that should be a cause for concern as far as infection or anything like that. So that should heal on its own. Okay. I would suggest you're already using a soft toothbrush, so maybe just take it easy. Okay. Don't avoid the area, but just go a little lighter than you have been, and it should heal within a couple of days, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the rest of your examination. So what I have is called a bite block. And what I'm going to do with this is test your jaw strength as well as just the overall integrity of your teeth. So I'm going to have you bite down on this in various positions and I want you to just tell me if it causes you any discomfort while I'm testing your strength, okay? All right. So open up for me. Go ahead and bite down. Any pain there? No. Open again. Bite down. Pain there? No. Good. Here? No. And now? No. And here? And one more time. Yeah. Good. Very good. Okay. And actually, while I have you, I'm going to have you open up and say, ah. Uh, Tongue out. Uh, Sorry. Test on that gag reflex. So if it's all right with you, I would like to go ahead and start with your complimentary cleaning because you are new to the office. You do receive a free cleaning today if you're up for it. Sure. Okay. So I did see that you have some sensitivity with the dentist as far as cleanings go, and I don't want to cause you any excess discomfort. So if it's all right with you, I do have some Novocaine that I can inject. Okay. Is that something that you'd be interested in? Yes, please. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that before we get started. So I do have a needle here. I don't want you to be alarmed. Um, it is rather large, but there are some new technologies that we've been utilizing recently. So what I'm going to do as I prepare this, I'm gonna give you a total of two units and we'll space that about half a unit in each quadrant of your mouth. What I'm going to do is use this vibration tool essentially to vibrate the area where I'm injecting. Your brain receptors can only experience one source of sensation at a time. So okay. when I vibrate, you're not going to be able to feel the needle. Right. Okay, so let me know how this works for you. So you're going to feel, I'll give you an example here. So this is the vibration. Can you feel that? Yes, I can. Okay, so right before I go to inject, you're mm -hmm. going to feel me vibrate the area okay. and hopefully you won't feel the needle as much okay all right okay so let's start with the top ready mm -hmm. any pain there no perfect so let's do the bottom okay okay i'm gonna switch over here How was that? Not bad. Not too bad. Perfect. Let me just go ahead and cap that. Okay. Well, you did very well. I'm glad you didn't feel any pain or discomfort with that. So let's go ahead and move on to the cleaning portion of the examination. And I'm going to bring my suction up and around. Mm 
started with the cleaning so I will have you open up for me and I did notice some very slight kind of tartar build up here that I just want to have a look at You let me know, of course, if any of this is uncomfortable or painful. Obviously, the dentist isn't the funnest experience, but... I'm just going to go in with my suction. to go in with a flosser so I'll have you open up for me lift up your tongue there you go and here and your teeth are pretty tightly packed together you don't have a whole lot of excess space is that something you've been told by a dentist before mm -hmm. Look at your top teeth. So you have a wider space right in between. You almost have a very miniature gap in between your two top teeth. But as a whole, your top row definitely has significantly more space than the bottom. So you're showing some very mild signs of crowding along your bottom teeth. I'm just going to suction some of that so high that now. Doing okay so far? Yes, I am. Perfect. So let's go ahead and go in with our suction brush. I'm just going to switch this out for a toothbrush head. Okay, and we'll do a little brushing. And this has some kind of liquid toothpaste mouthwash built in. Okay. So I just want to go into this area specifically. Also, using this to manipulate the gums to get a sense for your overall gum health. And I'm gonna go, if I can have you open up a little wider, I'm gonna go on the inside or the bottom. I want you to tell me if this area hurts, because this is where you said you had that scratch, and I do see it. Is this painful? I feel okay. Okay. That you feel a difference here, maybe versus here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Switch back over to that suction. Okay. I'm going to go in with one of our spacing flossers and just 
just gonna help me get a better look here, so. So this flosser, I'm not sure if you can tell, it has little nubs on it and they're spaced differently. So depending on how far I could get this in, it lets me know how tightly your teeth are packed. So for example, your top teeth, it goes almost all the way in. So those, you almost have an over space there. Here, goes in a little further. That's what I would consider normal, about a three or four. You're at about a three there, a two, one, two, I can't even get the spacer in here, or here, or here. So your teeth are definitely a little on the crowded side. So I'm just going to use this gauze to clean that out a little bit. Okay. Suction you one last time. So if it's not something you've considered before, we do have new technology that is braces essentially, but they're invisible clear and they can help with the crowding. Okay. So we put in a permanent bracket on the inside of your teeth. It can either be like a clear bonded acrylic or we can do metal depending on your price point. Okay. It would help to like while you sleep, you obviously um, would take the Invisalign out as well as while you eat and it would kind of help keep the spacing in place. And then during the day when you're not eating or sleeping or brushing your teeth, obviously you would have the Invisalign in and it would help kind of reopen okay. some of these bottom teeth. Okay. So the reason that I would suggest that is not so much for cosmetic reasons because your teeth appear you know, perfectly fine from the outside. They're very straight. They're just very tight. So you're not able to floss properly, specifically on the inside of your teeth. You have some very slight gingivitis forming and that's simply because you're not able to get in there to floss properly. Okay. So if your teeth were spaced slightly further apart, you might have, you know, better capability mm -hmm. to provide adequate oral hygiene. Okay. So it's just something to consider. It's not necessarily something that's, you know, emergent or that I think you absolutely have to have. Um, but if it's something you are interested in, mm -hmm. then we can, you know, do a follow-up appointment. I can send you to an orthodontist sure. and they would get you fitted for that. Okay. Um, aside from that, obviously I do recommend you continue to come in every six months and have your cleanings done. It's important to keep that plaque from building up because we don't want it to turn into calculus. Okay. So definitely recommend that. Um, but other than that, I didn't see anything that was too notable today. Okay. You don't have any cavities. You don't have any signs of infection. That minor scratch will heal up on its own, so I wouldn't worry about that. Maybe take it a little easy. Avoid any Listerines or mouthwash that are containing alcohol just because obviously it's gonna burn the area right. and it's not necessary to clean germs out of the area. It's not you know, at risk for any infection as long as you're brushing your teeth normally, okay? Okay. All right. So if there's nothing else I can get you today, you will, you know, obviously just be feeling some slight numbness in the areas where we inject Novocaine. Um, but other than that, I would say you're good to go. All okay. right. So if you'd like, you can make that follow-up appointment for your six month with the receptionist at the front desk, as well as the orthodontist appointment. She can give you the referral and we can have you fitted for those if you'd like, okay? All right, I'll do that. All right, well, thank you so much, James. It was very nice to meet you. I hope you have a good day. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.